I saw this in the news at the weekend. How ridiculous is that? You reckon that little hot swirl in the middle? So obviously there's two different layers and then we've got the really, well it's all extremely hot, but then we've got the really hot one. And instead of it going clockwise, it's going anti-clockwise. And it's not at the top of the news. The world is stopping rotating. But nobody says anything. So I thought that that was really crazy that it was stuffed down there and wasn't the main news to frighten people to death. Oh, we're stopping spinning. But of course, none of it's true. We're not, we're not rotating. Um, and it's all pathetic, really. And how would they know? How would they know it was rotating a different way? I suppose they can put things in there, can't they? If we can only go eight miles down, there's no way they have been in there to know what is going on. Absolutely no way in hell. But it isn't there anyway, so it's all pathetic, isn't it, really? Because it's not there. But it's just to frighten you. Just to frighten you and whatever. Whatever. Oh my god, it just, it's a, uh, anyway, what to say? Anyway, this I saw as well. It says V-shaped forest planted for Queen Victoria. And they reckon that there's 3,000 trees in there. Can you believe that? There you go, there it says it there, look. The V is made up of 3,000 trees. Does that look like 3,000 trees are in there? Maybe if it came right, went right round there and it was much bigger, yeah. But again, another weird anomaly. Do you think there are 3,000, not 100, 1,000 trees? Anyway, that's on the Sussex Downs. Oh, this. And this was in Brighton. Hidden tunnels. So we'll just have a look at it. We'll stop it and have a look. So we'll just go through this. So it says, oh, on too far. Here we go. Millions of people pass through Brighton Railway Station each year, but how many are aware of the secrets that lie below their feet? Hidden beneath the tracks are mosaic bathrooms, World War II communication rooms, and even a rifle range. Wow. That's incredible. Nobody would know this was there, says the tour guide, sorting through a ball of keys before unlocking a door from a busy station concourse. It leads to a staircase that is now grubby, but would have, have gleamed with shiny turquoise tiles. Whew. Below the station's former public toilets, old entrance from Trafalgar Street and a woman's hairdresser's all of which are now storage spaces for the shops above. Wow. I never knew there was tunnels there. Further into the depths of the station, a cobbled road runs alongside its old east wall. It was the old horse-drawn cabs used to get up onto the platform. A new external wall was added when the station expanded, meaning the road was hidden away. Brighton Station was built in 1840, but it was not until 1928 that the toilets and the now faded mosaic were added. Another abandoned space is a former service tunnel deep into the station, previously used to load goods onto the trains, but converted during the Second World War. Wow. Uh, another abandoned space is a former service tunnel deep inside the station, previously used to load goods onto the trains but converted during the Second World War. They moved all the telecommunications from the railway down there, Rob explains. If the station was, over, was ever bombed, they could still operate from this space. But at the far end of the tunnel, is the best kept secret. You can hear the gentle rumble of a train above our heads, said Rob. Let's carry on. Oh yes, and look, 
it's still all serviced because the lights are on. But nobody knew about it. Right, here we go. Um, and here the gentleman, it's a very secluded space, so a rifle range is a perfect use for this space. Built for the recreational shooting practice in the late 1940s, the range is still used by a rifle club today. Wow! The station was built, was a key in connecting Brighton with the rest of the UK. By 1850, it had grown from a fishing village into a hub of more than 60,000 residents and was a tourist hotspot. Thousands flocked from London as the seawater was rumoured to have healing qualities. Oh, that makes such sense now. Wow. And um, these people with horses and carts did it. It's just ridiculous. Those tunnels are much, much older. Look, they're rounded. So we're talking probably of the 16, 1700s and whatever. It's hundreds of years older than they say it is. As per usual, hundreds of years older. But at this time, sewage flowed from people's homes into the cease pools. It was not until the 1800s that engineers built a sewer work sprawling 30 miles under Brighton, costing 104,000 equivalent, 14 million today. Looks like it, doesn't it? Um, it was it allowed sewage to flow away from. Oh, I've done that bit to the sea. The sewers are still operational today, though sewage is treated at a new plant in Peacehaven. There you go. What they made hundreds of years ago is still working today. Ugh. In the 18th century, Brighton had become a popular getaway for the royal family. The Royal Pavilion was built in 1787 with the Prince of Wales, George IV. Isn't that the one that went to America and played George Washington? Yeah. He became Prince Regent in 1810 and King George IV in 1820. Yes, it's him. He got the corporation to the UK. So England now owns America. Anyway, I think that... Oh, got a bit more. It was rumoured that King George IV had a tunnel built so that he could secretly walk underground to the houses of Maria Fitz Fritzberg, his lover. But Dan Cox, head for Guide for Brighton and Hove Museum, said, This is unfounded. I'm sorry to disappoint people, he said. There was nothing secret about their relationship. The King did, however, spend 1,783 and equivalent 164,000 on a tunnel to keep his servants hidden from the gardens as they went between I just think there's one more page oh no maybe that's it oh no here we go they went between the royal pavilion um oh I've got lost now hang on guns went between the pavilion and the stables now the popular concert venue Brighton Dome that's the kind of guy George was says Dan Dan added that the term at the pavilion are still uncovering secrets about the building, meaning some of Brighton's buried mysteries are still yet to be revealed. But they did it all in horse and cart time! And yet these people were far, 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 the ones that built it, far, 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 far more advanced than we are today. It's pathetic, isn't it? Anyway, so... Those trees were around Brighton, and the tunnels were Brighton. And what was at the beginning? I've forgotten now. Um, oh yes, the stupid Earth Core. It's slowed down, it's moving backwards. How pathetic is that? That means we would stop spinning, and it would be a huge, great problem. But it's just a little bit of news stuffed in there, and none of it is true none of it but anyway thanks for watching my video and what's your thoughts to all this well it's obviously not a new find because that says the 21st of october 2023 so there are a few posts on it are the tunnels under brighton let's have a look what it says will it tell us the truth the Brighton Pavilion is known for its unique Indo-Islamic exterior, however, a hidden network of tunnels was built years later. 
How do they know? These tunnels were rumoured to link the king to the house of his favourite lover. Not true. The tunnels were actually completed well after the relationship was over. Mm, bit of rubbish that was then. What is the secret tunnel to the pavilion? It's just going to talk about things we've already discussed. Um, is there still a tunnel under the... No, we don't want that. But let's just look at some pictures. Because it's not going to... Um, let's have a look at some pictures. What's it going to show us? I want to see some more pictures. Ooh, this is a little better, isn't it? Yes, this is a little better. So we'll just go through some of the pictures. Bikes there. Look, rounded tunnels. Look at that. They just took... Oh, anyway, those pictures are on there. Um, is that it? No, we're going down. Brighton's station cab robe. Now a tunnel. Oh, look at this one here. I like these. Look at them. So let's go back up here. Yeah, look at that. There's the road underneath. Yes. Not particularly more pictures, but there's bikes in that one. Look at that one. I like that one. We're going to blow that one up. Obviously, you can get a tour guide to go down there. Oh, I'm all fat. I fancy going down there and having a look underneath Brighton Station, the tunnel that ran diagonally across the station to carry its goods. Well, anyway, we've had a little look. It's all the same pictures. What's your thoughts then to all this? Tunnels that like this. The arches are usually much older than they say they are. And they're like it at the um, marine place, which is at the, by the pier. Anyway, thanks for watching.